Maloney, uh, Rich Sapphire, Superintendent. Uh, thank you for coming out and congratulations. This is one of our most special occasions, an opportunity to really recognize uh, excellence and uh, we're thankful for that and, and you should be as well. Uh, can we take a moment please to, uh, for the Pledge of Allegiance, if you be kind enough to stand. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, I'd first like to start out simply by recognizing uh, some of our dignitaries that are, are here tonight. We have City Councilor Val Gilman, School Committee Chair Jonathan Pope, School Committee Member Tony Gross, School Committee Member Michelle Sweet, School Committee Member Joel Favaza. We have Deborah Kelsey from the Gloucester Lyceum and Sawyer Free Library, Judy Junker from the Women's Club of Cape Ann, and uh, Greg Bach, our Assistant Superintendent of Schools. Good evening. The mayor could not be here tonight, but she asked me to extend her congratulations. Unfortunately, she had another commitment, uh, but she congratulates uh, everyone on their uh, success. The uh, benefactor and philanthropist Samuel Sawyer was born in Gloucester on November 25th, 1815, and died in Gloucester on December 15th, 1889, at the age of 73. In his will, Samuel Sawyer declared that he would give and bequeath to the said city government the sum of $3,000 in trust to be applied through the hands of the school committee in providing medals to be awarded to meritorious scholars in the high and grammar school, courtesy and exemplary conduct to be considered, and shortly we will hear the story of Samuel Sawyer. Tonight we continue that tradition first established by Mr. Sawyer by recognizing this year's student recipients for their excellence and for the many ways in which they have displayed that excellence in academics, art, music, athletics, and in working with others and for others as well. Samuel Sawyer's story, his biography, and his efforts on behalf of others are stories in the past. But Samuel Sawyer, through this award, looked to the future. You, young ladies and gentlemen, constitute that future. We award you tonight in the knowledge that you have the potential to do great things, to be creative in your work, to possibly invent new ways of doing things you have aptitude for, and most excitingly, for changing the world around you. We know that you will do so wisely. So congratulations again. At this time, I'd like to call up Mr. Jonathan Pope, the chairman of the Gloucester School Committee. Good evening. Um, it's my honor and privilege uh, to represent the uh, Gloucester School Committee to congratulate the Sawyer Medal recipients and their families. Well over 100 years ago, Samuel Sawyer put aside some money for the purpose of recognizing and honoring Gloucester's best students a tradition that continues this evening, a tradition that is particular to Gloucester. There are only three awards that the city gives out. The Master Mariner's Medal, which is given out to individuals who rescue a person at sea. The Lindsay Coolidge Philanthropy Award uh, for people who have made substantial contributions to the well-being of the citizens of Gloucester. And the Soy Medal for academic excellence. Although you have worked hard to achieve this award, when you're off at college and you tell your friends you want a soy medal, they're going to look at you a little cross-eyed and they're not really going to know what you're talking about. But I can tell you this for a fact. 50 years from now, when you're sitting at the Gloucester House, and I'm pretty sure it'll still be there, um, in your reunion, your classmates will all remember that you were a soy medal winner that you represent the best and the brightest of your class. So we celebrate your achievement tonight. You and your families should be proud because you have accomplished the intellectual equivalent of walking the greasy pole and taking the flag. <laughs> <laughs> so you have lost the legend and you will continue to be. Um, one member of our current school committee was awarded the Sawyer Medal and I would like to ask Joel Favazza to come up and just say a few words about <coughs> what it meant to him. Thank you for that, and thank you all for coming here tonight. 
Uh, I'm genuinely honored to speak tonight as a past recipient myself. After tonight, we'll have two Sora Medal recipients in my home, and so it's a very special night for me personally. And I hope it's equally as special for all the other families here celebrating their students who are receiving their awards. But I want to speak mainly to the recipients tonight. Um, you're all joining in a very local, but prestigious nonetheless, club. Uh, and I want you to remember these awards you're receiving and rely on these awards going forward in your academic career. I'm sure by now all of you tonight have received plenty of awards for good grades. Uh, it's probably a yearly habit at this point. And no question, it is truly an accomplishment to be called up on recognition night and receive an award for receiving um, you know, A's and B's throughout the school year or to see your name in the Gloucester Times every term you make honor roll or high honors. Those are you know, genuine achievements you should be proud of. But those awards have no limits as to recipients. Every student who makes the cut is in. Tonight's awards are different. Tonight's awards are cream of the crop awards. They are academically competitive and highly competitive at that. Uh, for the Sawyer Medal, you're looking at 10 recipients the first year, then five, then two, then two more, and that's it. Less than 20 students in your class will receive this award ever. And so when I say I want you to rely on this award, I mean I want you to rely on what this award says about you. It says that you are not only academically successful, it says you're capable of achieving at the highest level. And it also says that your high achievement was no fluke. In my experience, no one gets these awards because they had a random good year or because they got lucky and somehow wound up with higher grades than everybody else. You're receiving this award because you've worked hard for years and you've built up the skill not just to perform academically, but to outperform. And so when ninth graders begin getting anxiety over their first round of midterms and finals, and when 10th and 11th graders begin worrying about the workload of their new AP courses, as the upperclassmen fret about college applications, essays, and actually attending college in the near future, and really any other time any of you are feeling unsure how on earth you're going to get through whatever academic challenge you're facing next, I want you to remember you can pull it off because you always pull it off, consistently. And this award you're receiving tonight is your proof of that. So rely on it. Uh, congratulations again to all of you. Congratulations to your families. You should all be very proud. Uh, so let's begin with the award, shall we? And uh, to um, introduce the College Women's Club of Cape Ann Award, I uh, call upon Ms. Judy Johnson. Good evening, everybody. Happy to be here. The Cape Ann College Women's Club Book Award is presented annually to the member of the present graduating class who has achieved the highest academic average by the end of the junior year. And all teachers, even and especially retired teachers like me, are always delighted to, to celebrate academic excellence. So it gives me great pleasure to present this book to Ms. Caroline Fagan King. Congratulations on your achievement and in the future, soar with wings, but don't forget your roots. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, our next two awards will be presented by the principal of Boston High School, Mr. James Cook. They are the Harvard Prize Book Award and the Letter of Commendation for Outstanding Performance on the PSATs. And thank you everyone for coming. I'm pretty sure that uh, most of the time you really fit here, but we have so many people coming out to celebrate the award winners tonight that we're you know, nearly filling this place, uh, the lecture hall this year, which is really great to see people honoring the achievement of these students. The Harvard Prize book is awarded to the second highest achieving student according to their average at the end of their junior year. I'm proud to present this award to Megan May Craybeck.
I will award also, so Megan is also receiving a letter of commendation for outstanding performance on the preliminary SAT National Merit Scholarship qualifying test in 2016. And as uh, Joel talked about, you know, this is something that is of national uh, importance. You're really competing against the very best. Some years we don't necessarily have students who uh, attain this award. So in absentia, another round of applause for Megan. And now Dr. Sapphire will present the Massachusetts Association of School Superintendents Certificate of Academic Excellence. As uh, uh, Mr. Cook has mentioned, uh, this too is an award that is, uh, recognizes academic excellence. It's a little bit of an agonizing process. Each year I come to the high school, I interview four students, and I come away saying, they're so outstanding, how do you make selections? It's very, very difficult, and I want to commend all that I had an opportunity to speak with. But I am in a position where I did have to make some choices, and for the Massachusetts Association of School Superintendents Certificate of Academic Excellence, the first goes to Megan May Craybeck, who we know is not here. And the other award goes to Carolyn Fagan King. So we're ready to turn to the Sawyer Medals and to introduce the topic a little bit more fully, we're going to call on Deborah Kelsey, uh, the director of the Gloucester Lyceum and Sawyer Free Library. I've gotten, I've gotten much better at doing this than my first year when I hardly knew enough to um, realize what a significant honor this is. And I'm really pleased and grateful for the opportunity to talk about the life and contributions of Samuel Sawyer and his intention for the Sawyer Medal Award and the connection between his inspiring life and your achievement. Sam Sawyer was Foster's greatest benefactor and philanthropist. He was the fifth generation to occupy the family homestead of Brook Bank in Freshwater Cove. A successful merchant in a business in Boston and living away from Gloucester for a large part of his earlier life, he never forgot the town he was born in. He shared his good fortune by thoughtful and long-lasting gifts to Gloucester, which reflected his diverse interests and values. Among many acts of generosity, he had 100 elms planted along the city streets, gave a grand piano, a great bell, and large four-faced clock that is still in City Hall, and 700 acres for Ravy Boyd Park, funds to support art and music education in the schools, and the library building and an endowment that exists today. In the 1840s, he became an active member of the Gloucester Lyceum, which was formed a few years earlier to bring community members together to participate in lectures and debates of both literary and philosophical merit and to foster learning. This led to the formation of a library. Mr. Sawyer's involvement and financial support led to the continuing growth of the library until in 1884, the Gloucester Lyceum and Sawyer Free Library. The Free Forever People's University was dedicated in the same building it occupies today with the motto, books are the lighthouses, on the sea of time. At the dedication, Mr. Sawyer said, it has always been a prominent motive or object of my life to do something to promote the best interests of the young, for in them lies the germ, the roots, and fibers of civilization. <coughs> books are the food of the mind. From the earliest years of childhood, books are sought to feed the intellect and so from college, from school to college, later on they are the source for recreation to the idler, the tools for the student, 
the scholar in the name of letters. As a member of the Gloucester School Committee, Mr. Sawyer, a largely self-educated individual, proposed that special medal be awarded, we heard, to the best scholars in 1865 and bequeathed the special endowment dedicated to awarding students <coughs> with meritorious and exemplary conduct medals on an annual basis. He recognized that in a true democracy, individual success means achievement in education, and success means is for the community as a whole. And therefore, those recipients of the award are those people who are manifesting the values that Samuel Sawyer also held, and they are manifesting you. So you share his love of learning, recognize the importance of educational achievement for your future success, and you will contribute to your community. So you are part of what gives us hope, and we all thank you very much. So now I have the honor of reading and for, uh, the Sawyer Medals for the year, and they will be presented by uh, Dr. Sapphire and uh, the dignitaries uh, present here with us tonight. We'll be going, uh, beginning with the class of 2018. First medal goes to Luke James Macker. The second award goes to Caitlin Marie Marks. <laughs> and for the class of 2019, the first award goes to Delaney Lynn Benchoff. Take your principal's hand first. Uh, the second award goes to Jack Christopher Bergen. We will be giving five medals to the class of 2020. The first goes to Catherine Ann Bevins. Second medal in the class of 2020 will go to Lila Dan Hawk. The third medal will go to Matthew Moraes Johnson. Fourth medal this year for the class of 2020 goes to Molly Ann McCreevy. And the fifth medal for the class of 2020 goes to Graciana Parisi O'Toole. Class of 2021 is the incoming class of freshmen this year at Gloucester High School, to whom we bestow 10 medals, the first of which goes to Mila Genevieve Barry. The 
second medal for the class of 2021 goes to Kara Margaret Buchanan. The third medal for the class of 2021 goes to Tessa Lynn Bushfield. The next medal goes to Owen Hamilton Hardy. And the next medal goes to Olivia. Oh, sorry, class. Up on the applause. <laughs> Olivia Francis Liacano. <laughs> and the next medal goes to Marissa Esther Mandela. events where I get to learn people's middle names. <laughs> the next medal goes to Cameron John Muniz. <laughs> and the next medal for the class of 2021 goes to Dylan Joseph Orlando. The next medal for the class of 2021 goes to Ava Patricia Sheedy. <laughs> and the last for your medal we will be giving this year. <laughs> and the last for your medal for, that we'll be giving this year in the class of 2021 goes to Autumn Marie Silva.